Hi guys, this is Sarah from The Savvy Professor, and in today's video, we'll talk about how to check if Hyper-V is enabled. This video will take you through two ways to check if Hyper-V is enabled on Windows. Using the System Information Tool Number 1. Open the Start menu and search for Turn Windows Features On or Off. Number 2. From the search results, click the Turn Windows Features On or Off application. Number 3. Scroll down and look for the Hyper-V section in the Turn Windows Features On or Off window that appears. Number 4. If there's a checkbox next to Hyper-V, it means Hyper-V is enabled. If the checkbox is empty, Hyper-V is not enabled. Using PowerShell Number 1. Open PowerShell as an administrator. You can do this by searching for PowerShell in the Start menu, right-clicking on Windows PowerShell and choosing Run as Administrator. Number 2. In the PowerShell window, type or paste the following command and press Enter. Get hyphen Windows optional feature hyphen online hyphen feature name space Microsoft hyphen hyper hyphen V. Number 3. Number 3. Check the output of the command. The output will have the following format. Feature name Microsoft Hyper V. Display name Hyper V platform. Description provides the services you can use to create and manage virtual machines and their resources. Restart required. Possible. State disabled. Custom properties. If you see the line that says state enabled, it confirms that Hyper-V is enabled on your computer. How to check if your computer meets the hardware requirements for Hyper-V. To check if your computer meets the hardware requirements for Hyper-V, use the following command. Get hyphen Windows optional feature space hyphen online space hyphen feature name space Microsoft hyphen hyper hyphen V space hyphen online space pipe space select hyphen object hyphen expand property space requirements. This command will list the hardware requirements your computer must meet to run Hyper-V. How to enable Hyper-V If you discover that Hyper-V is not enabled on your computer and you wish to enable it, follow these steps. Number 1. Search for Turn Windows Features On or Off in the Start Menu search bar. Number 2. Select the Turn Windows Features On or Off application from the results. Number 3. In the Turn Windows Features On or Off window, look for the Hyper-V section and expand it. Number 4. Check the box attached to Hyper-V platform. Number 5. Click OK. Your computer will need to restart for these changes to apply. Once the restart is complete, you can use Hyper-V to create and manage virtual machines. And there you have it. Checking if Hyper-V is enabled is as simple as that. Thanks for watching. Till next time.